Well, hello friends! My name is Eliancer and welcome back to Friday Repair, which never happens on Friday. Uh, I hope by now you should have already figured out what is the subject for today's repair. If you haven't, I have some bad news for you. But anyways, uh, this is the very, very old Maglite flashlight. Is it the biggest one? I'm not actually sure, but this one is uh, very old. Uh, my dad always used to have it in his car. Um, you know, obviously it's a flashlight, but also uh, it can be a protection thing. It is very old, I don't even know, 15, 20 years, something like that. But what happens to a lot of those flashlights, the batteries inside, they actually start to corrode and they kind of just leak out and stuck inside the flashlights. Sometimes you can just get it out of it and no problem at all, but sometimes uh, it's uh, quite a trouble. It actually got corroded so bad that we couldn't unscrew the end cap for many, many years. So it's been laying around in our uh, summer house for a good 10 years until uh, recently I took it to my workshop and I actually squeezed it in between two steel angles uh, because I didn't have a wise back then and uh, used my large Nipex Cobras and I managed to unscrew the end cap and what I saw inside was shocking. So I took out the end cap and uh, the inside is quite, yeah, quite a mess. It is corroded so bad that the battery is just uh, decomposed inside. So what I would like to try to do uh, is to somehow drill out those old batteries from the inside of this flashlight. And what I got here is the Forstner bit uh, that's supposed to fit this. And it does. It's not the best fitment, but it's like, I think it's gonna be enough to do the job. Also, I have a new LED light bulb, which is supposed to be a lot brighter than the older ones. And I've got a bunch of new batteries. These are the new type. Maybe they are not even going to leak out after a few years. So yeah, obviously the Forstner bit is good, but it's, as you can see, it's too short. So we need to extend this Forstner bit so I can uh, stick it into my drill and try to drill through the barrel. Uh, I think I'm gonna cut off this uh, orange bit here and weld like a piece of rod to the shaft so I can uh, extend this and drill to the bottom of this uh, barrel. The only problem would be if I drill too far down and I would destroy like a button or some other stuff so I gotta watch out for that. some extra long forester, just give me a call. So here is our bit. That looks perfect. Fits in a drill chat as well. Good stuff. So I'm not really into chemistry and I don't really know what kind of would be inside of uh, uh, inside of the batteries, so I think I'm gonna take this flashlight outside and also I'm gonna wear a protection mask. Maybe it's too much, but just in case I don't want to breathe in this shit from the from the batteries. So I'm gonna take it all outside. See you there. So, 
I'm back from the outside. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Only like five, 10 minutes and I drilled out uh, most of the stuff that was inside of this flashlight. I'm glad I did it outside and I've collected all of the dust from the inside of the batteries into a bag. And uh, I don't even know what should I do with this bag now. Actually, I have reached something inside. Uh, and actually when I was drilling, I could feel like that the stuff that I was drilling got softer and I uh, did make a few plastic chips. I don't know what was that. I hope I didn't uh, damage the flashlight. I'm gonna try to take it apart uh, and see if I actually went deep enough. There is this kind of mechanism with the bottom that you can uh, take out, but you can only take it out when, the, when nothing is blocking the way. Uh, I'm gonna try to undo it now and uh, take it out. So I've tried as much as I could uh, to get this button assembly out, but I can see that there is like a bit of a metal casing from the batteries left and it just, it's not gonna, yeah, it's not gonna work like this. I, I don't think I can uh, get it out of there. It's too deep inside. But what I've noticed is that at the front, uh, there is little uh, blue retention ring and that retention ring holds this uh, button assembly from sliding uh, to the front. Oh, look at this. <laughs> and yeah, this little blue retention ring holds this uh, button assembly from sliding uh, to the front. So maybe if I can somehow take off this retention ring, I could, uh, I could possibly take this uh, button assembly out. Yes. There we go. Nice. It's so clear. Hope it's stainless. Is it stainless? I don't know. Hope it is because I've scratched it quite a bit. Uh, but I've cleaned it out perfectly. There is no sign of the batteries left. Uh, actually, kind of proud of my job here. The batteries were like completely destroyed. No chance I would get them out any other way than drilling them out. Uh, but it worked. We have a perfectly nice uh, barrel. So, what's next? You may ask. This is the bottom cap. There is still a replacement light bulb inside. So I've cleaned out all of the corrosion and rust from this area here and most of the rust from the spring. I think it's important to have this place clean from any corrosion uh, is to get uh, the good contact between the spring and the casing of the, of the batteries because, because I guess that's how the power is transferred from the batteries up to the light bulb. So let's assemble our friend uh, back up. I'm gonna insert the spring first, fits nicely, the blue ring, I hope I could get it installed back in place. Could be even more of a challenge than taking it out. Oh no, it wasn't that bad. Huh. I would say it was quite easy. Perfect. Slides inside hopefully with no problems at all I wish uh, why 
Yep. There is actually a little set screw inside of a button. You just insert a, I think, yeah, it's number two Allen wrench and uh, set it like this and it holds in place. Two, three, four, five. Five D cell batteries. Let's put the end cap back in place. Ooh, nice. Okay, so the moment of truth. If I press this button and it lights up, then I didn't uh, spend the whole day for nothing. Uh, let's see. I hope it's just the light bulb. Mate, no way. Now we're talking. It's so bright I got blinded a little bit. Ha, <laughs> look at this. The old light bulb works. It's perfect. I'm gonna keep it inside of a flashlight. But I'm gonna use the LED one. I know that there is some like super crazy and expensive mods for this flashlight that you can buy and install instead of this light bulb. I just don't feel like I'm into it right now. It's all part. I'm glad you haven't seen it. And there we go. The perfectly functioning old school mug light flashlight. I'm so happy I've actually managed to uh, to fix it because it was like a little mission of mine since I was a kid and uh, Yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures and send them to my dad to show them that I actually fixed our old flashlight uh, Let's see. So it's almost pitch black. I'm gonna turn on the flashlight um, Yeah, it works it definitely works. Uh, it's definitely not the most brightest flashlight, but uh, it does the job. It's nice. I like it. I just sent a quick video to my dad. I think he's going to be happy. Uh, so yeah, here we have it. That was a quick little Friday repair. We have totally saved this mug light from the dumpster. Um, yeah, I'm glad with this build. NYPD, open up. Thank you for watching the video till the end. If you are into a Friday repairs, give us a like. Uh, will be highly appreciated. Don't forget to leave some comments, very important. Also check out the Patreon, link is in the description. Have a nice week and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.